Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Gemini weekly money and career reading from July 29th to the 4th, 2024. Gemini's, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Gemini weekly money and career. July 29th to August 4th, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you are well. Be on the lookout on the here out for the magic word. Yes, the magic word is back. We are back for another free reading that I will reveal at the end of the month of August. And yes, I know I'm late for the end of June reveal. Uh, I will get to that. Life got in the way and so I apologize for that, but not to worry. Uh, I will reveal the name of the free reading and another one at the end of the month of August. So if you just popped in this channel and never watched these readings before, I do money and career readings every week and offer one free reading for anyone that's interested. All you have to do is put the magic word I reveal at the end of this reading down below in the comment section. And don't forget to be subscribed. I will pull one name from all the subscribers. So make sure you are subscribed. All right, let's get going. And for anyone else that has that is used to these magic words, that has been here once or many times, welcome back and thank you for your beautiful energies. All right, let's get started, Gemini. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week, July 29th to August 4th, 2024. Also, if you wish to support the channel, if you're interested in becoming an active member, you can click on the join button and that'll give you access to a free question during the Sunday lives. All right, here we go. Ooh, two of wands, beautiful and the fool. Freedom, freedom, freedom. You're traveling, you're going, it's happening, Gemini. It is happening. Two of, two of wands. The world is your oyster. You decide if you've decided to detach yourself or decided to go on that adventure, to explore that new path, to get out of your comfort zone. You got it. You're going. It's happening. Wow. Um, it's also a way of... Um, healing from whatever well healing maybe not the right word let me take that back um detaching yeah deta detaching yourself from obligations other people's rules other people's decisions being bound to contracts to that specific job to that specific project in ways where maybe you felt or feel a little stuck in a in your own lane like you can't move around it's only one lane and only one way of doing things and you have to follow rules on this with this manager or with this company or this you know philosophy that these people have in this company the whatever it is right so yes you're going on your own ad new adventure with a fool and it's freedom it's about liberation uh, liberating yourself to go be able to explore this new path, this new opportunity, this new career, whatever it is. You it's you don't really know what it's made of yet, right? But you're taking that leap of faith. And you really want to take that leap of faith with this um a seven of wands. You're you're standing your ground. You want you you have several opportunities. You don't know which one you're going to take yet. You, you just make sure you fact check, back check all your opportunities here with the seven of uh, cups because you can be disillusioned with one or more. You're going to make a decision, the right decision to make. Okay, whatever it is, you'll make the right decision. Um, I feel like this decision here is also something to bring back balance in your life right there there's a sense of obligation there where 
no matter what you do, you're going to have to make this decision. Um, no matter what's going on with this Page of Wands, you're entering something fresh, something new. You have a whole new inspiration, but it goes through that justice. In other words, that certain obligation to make things happen or to do the right thing or something has to give to be able to bring back balance in your life. So you're freeing yourself from certain obligations. Sometimes it's escapism. Are you escaping something? Are you escaping a certain decision you have to make or certain obligations you have? It's possible. Or are you disillusioned on, um, on those decisions that were made in your company or, you know, the way it went on that project in that job? And you're going into something new for sure with this page of wands but it's fresh it's new it is the really really beginning especially with the fool but you trust yourself on this you trust yourself to go on a new adventure adventure yourself out there gemini go for it i'll i'll pull more cards on the justice there to see exactly um why the justice is there what is it that's got to be done here because the justice is yeah you're moving for you're moving out of complications out of a certain mindset you're moving into something smoother for sure and the justice is bringing back balance yes all new all new so it really feels like there has been a major decision in your life whether you're making that decision or there's a justice, almost like I'm feeling court vibes here, but it can be a family decision or court court decision within your company or within a business, right? It doesn't have to be you, but it's certainly something you've been disillusioned on. And so maybe this was a company you worked with or is a company you're working in and uh, there is a major decision that's made. It can be like... Um, uh, takeover or something that's sold or something right or um, uh, lawyers or seeing courts and things like that doesn't have to be that but you're getting out of that and you certainly have had have to you had to defend yourself or you stand your ground or you know you had to set up those boundaries because you you felt disillusioned and one more card here in this deck, and then I'm going to pull cards on this justice to see exactly what's going on. Whatever it is, you're moving into something fresh, and you're you're off to new adventures in another city, in another world, in another career. Um, the world you're opening up to the world, or at least you want to open yourself up to new opportunities, whether it's international with the two of wands you're setting your goals for sure you're planning for sure and then we have this king of wands aries leo sag but i think this is you confident reassuring yourself that this is what you're going to build this is what you're going to be part of you're asserting yourself and you're also i think with this king of wands Gemini, you don't care what people think anymore. Whatever the decision was made in this company or in this situation, whatever the situation is that was fishy, maybe you're like, okay, whatever. You know what? I did that. That was complicated. I don't want to deal with these people anymore. I'm going to go on my own adventure. I'm going to start my own business. I'm going to go travel the world and see what opportunities are out there. I'm going to go on a new path. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I'm setting my goal to freedom it's goal to freedom freedom of mindset freedom of choices freedom of philosophy you're on your own path it's independence it feels like independence all right let's see uh gemini why is this justice here let's do that first and then we'll see what cards come out why is the justice here what is that all about why is the justice here for gemini 
weekly money and career july 29th to august 4th 2024 why is the justice here for gemini what's this decision here what's this obligation here it's it's resetting the clock for sure it's resetting everything yeah reset reset taking a breather it is absolutely resetting the clock it's bringing back balance to your vibe yeah, yeah there's that decision and okay conflicts decision um you've had to take a breather you've had to take a rest on that and yeah okay all right so you there's abundance coming in and it's all about independence all about gaining your independence your financial independence, your freedom of choice, your freedom of decision to do your own thing. So this can be a justice decision in your life, your personal life. It doesn't automatically have to be regarding um, um, a job or a business, but it's certainly something that's resetting your path resetting your stability to be able to make your own choices so whether this is a separation within your you know within your family it can be that it doesn't have to be that but it can be that or a certain decision a law decision regarding your life right this is something that has to be done that has to be done to bring back stability but also free you and allow you to make your own choices and become financially independent okay all right let's see um if uh why the fool is here why is the fool here oh okay so i didn't even see that three came out. yeah suddenly well you're imposing you're imposing your vibe you're imposing Whatever it is, you're going to go on your own thing. And whatever it is, you're detaching yourself and you are you want to go on your own way. Yeah, and we have the magician. You're inspired and moving on, moving into something smoother. But you're really detaching yourself from all the mind games, the conflicts, um, all the the confrontations you've had with that person, with that situation. A lot of conflicts here. Um, that really put you in a position of having to choose. Choose, am I staying? Am I going? Am I, am I, you know, taking that job abroad or am I staying here? Or whatever, you know, whatever it is. Um, this is something that's bringing your freedom back. Good for you. Good for you. All right, let's see if there are a few more cards that want to come out. Just two of wands what are you opening up to you have two pages so it's all new all fresh you've um manifested finances you manifested stability or at least justice is bringing in stability you manifested finances page of wands it's a whole new inspiration and you're confident you're confident and now you don't frankly don't give a damn what other people think good for you gemini so let me know where you're going. What is this all about, Gemini? Are you moving? Are you going to travel? Are you taking on a job that requires a lot of travel? It feels like you're going on a new adventure for sure. All right, let's see. Wow, okay, yep. Ace of Wands, new passion, new endeavor, new job, new business. I mean, you're building, it's completely new. You have the ch you're so determined, but you're ready. You're ready. So you're ready to take on this new challenge, new path, new adventure, whatever it is. And also, you're okay if you're alone on this. You don't care what other people think, but you also understand that it's your spirit, your well-being, uh, your willpower and determination to push forward and to make this happen or to choose a different life or to choose a different path. And if you're on your own, you're on your own. You're ready to do it on your own. And that's how much you're ready and stable. That's when the chariot appears. Yes, it's determination and willpower. And yes, you're not going back. You are not going back to where you were. Decision made. 
And again, with the justice, look at this, you have the fool again and the ace of swords. So you have clarity on that. You know this is your new life. You know this is your new adventure. And you're not. there's no going back. And with the justice, there is no going back. There is no if, ands, or buts, right? It's an obligation. It's a decision. And it puts everything back in perspective and it brings back balance to a situation that was off kilter or that was stagnating or or people couldn't agree. Right. Or, you know, and so sometimes there's no choice there, but it's the right thing to do. And it and it brings back it opens up to the new energies to push forward, unblock the situation and off to a new adventure, off to a new life, off to a new career. Let me know what you're choosing. Let me know what you're doing. Gemini, it seems very exciting. I mean, look at these cards. Look at these cards. Two aces, the fool and the chariot. If that's not determination to be independent, to do your own thing, to go on your own way and not be bothered by everybody that has been stepping in your way and all the conflicts along the way. Wow. You don't want to deal with them. You don't want to deal with the obligations. You don't want to deal with the people, the ties. Done. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Very powerful. All these, all these readings are extremely powerful. I invite you to check out your other signs that are in your chart if you're interested. And also the power readings. There are power readings for almost all signs. I think I didn't do Aries, but pretty much all signs. These are power readings. Timeless power readings if you're interested. Um, I'll put the link down below. Gemini. All right, let's see if there's... One last message for the road, and I think that'll be the last reading for the day because I do not have much voice left, Gemini. Money and career, July 29th to August 4th, 2024. The moon, yep, getting your answers. Whatever was hidden is revealed or whatever, you know, you were waiting for. You're getting clarity on that weighing your options but also you you know you know where your priorities are now and you're celebrating this you're happy this is your happy zone your happy place with your family celebrating with your family or celebrating being in your comfort zone fine and making the right decision and being happy with the decision and just very comfortable comfortable with where you are a gemini wow Wow, this is really, really a beautiful, beautiful reading, Gemini. Uh, I want to say that uh, the magic word here is freedom. <laughs> freedom. Uh, so if you're interested in putting your name in a hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put the word freedom down below in the comment section. And don't forget to be subscribed. I will pull uniquely from people that are subscribed. So don't forget to check if you're subscribed, double check because, um, uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how the algorithm is going these days, but a lot of people are not subscribed. So just make sure you're subscribed if you wish to participate. So uh, the magic word is freedom. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you to each and every one for watching these readings, for connecting to this channel, for s stopping by every week or if it's the first time you're here. Thank you so much for, uh, uh, for connecting and I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, have a great week, Gemini. Take care. Bye-bye.